Hello friends, how are you going today? You may remember I tried out advanced selfies for the first time in my 14 new things in 14 days challenge back when I first started this channel. I've been doing them pretty regularly ever since and I've really enjoyed them because they're teaching me a lot about photography, about photo editing and even about posing. Like, it's really hard. Plus it's given me some good content for my Instagram feed when I'm literally doing nothing else. If you haven't heard of the advanced selfie, it was created by Sorel Amour. I'll link some of her videos down below, you really should check those out. Pretty much an advanced selfie is combining the ideas of a professional photo shoot with a typical selfie. It's self-portrait photography with all the extra bits and bobs. So today I'll be styling myself a shoot, doing some makeup, taking the photos and being the subject of the photos and I'll also be editing them. And I've decided to step it up a notch today with my editing. So far I've just kind of been retouching the colours but I actually want to get a bit more creative and artistic with the edits. So I've made a Pinterest board of all my inspiration. So this is the very scattered Pinterest board that I've made for this shoot with a bit of a variety of inspiration. So you can see down here there's a couple of interesting poses I suppose. I've been really struggling with posing beyond just kind of like... So I'm trying to get a bit more inventive with my posing. So I'm going to try and recreate these and for a fun one I'm also going to do something along the lines of this. I think that would be really fun. I'm going to try this makeup look. You can see I've already got my normal kind of face on, but I'm going to try to do something slightly more interesting there. All of these other pictures are inspirations for the edit, so I want to work a bit more with shape and colour and text and layering things so that at the end of the day I have more of an artwork rather than just another photo of myself. So that's where I'm thinking today will go. It might not. I might end up doing something completely different, but we'll just have to wait and see. So let's get ready. I am not much of a makeup person. I have makeup from two dollar stores. I don't really have any brushes. I use stuff that's really old. So I don't know if any of this is gonna work out. There's not even any bloody glitter left in that. Do you reckon I could cut it open? It's probably a bad idea. This is probably about as close and personal as we've gotten so far. Hello. Of my three eyeliners, they are all rubbish. <laughs> but I'm gonna try and do it with my angled eyeliner pencil. Oh no, they're uneven. Okay. Does that look too ridiculous or does it look okay? Thinking cheeks. Like I'm thinking I'm thinking a bit crazy. And now I look like a clown. It's okay. Maybe clown is my aesthetic of choice. Fix all your problems with a fluffy brush. I think I can work with this. I'm gonna work with this. Let's get my little photo shoot spot ready to go. I can't put my hand there without going to bed. Without us both going to bed. So I've set up just some old bed sheets to make the background nice and white. I've brought my ring light out so that I can get some lighting. It's nighttime now, but even during the day it is so dark in my entire house. So a ring light is completely necessary. The other really important thing, which I'll show you, is that I'm currently controlling everything from my phone. So pretty much all modern cameras also have a compatible app you can download. I've spoken about this before. It allows you to use your phone as a remote trigger and also to be able to view how you look. And I find this so important for advanced selfies because it means I can pose my body and kind of see where in the frame I am, if I look awkward or anything like that, all without having to actually see the screen. It's amazing, it's so good. So I'm gonna start with this first shot now. For the 
these next couple of shots, I've got you down here on the ground with me. And I'm gonna try and do that one where she was all like, I'm gonna need to look at the photo. How does her head reach her knee like that? This is, this is not working at all. Um, I'm gonna get seat. And so now, for the final one, I'm down here. You're down here with me. And I've got to try really hard not to flash my butt. Because I'm trying to do... <laughs> oh my goodness! Something... <sighs> Something like that. And that's a wrap. All right, it's the next day and now it's editing time. So this morning I picked out my favorite photos and put them all through Lightroom. And so now it's time to go into Photoshop and see what kind of artistic, creative things I can do with these photos. Stay tuned because I'll show you the results real soon. That did not work out as planned. In the footage you just saw about a month ago, I started editing the pictures, I put hours into them and I hated them. This is what I came up with in that session. I mean, they're not bad, but I just did not like the design. I was not achieving what I had in my mind. And I didn't know what I had in my mind anyway. So I took a break, but more importantly, I watched a lot of Photoshop tutorials on YouTube. I was definitely overambitious going into this, trying to make big creative edits in Photoshop when we all know that I don't know how to use it very well. When I finally sat down and watched a whole heap of tutorials, I was able to imagine new things that I could do with the photos and see exactly how I could do them. So today, with this wealth of new knowledge in my head, I've sat down with the photos and come up with some designs I like. As you can see, they're not that similar to the photos I took inspiration from, but I still am really proud of the results. And that's all that matters. Thank you so much for watching this tumultuous photo journey with me. I hope you enjoyed both the shoot and the editing. If you'd like to see more creative content from me soon, make sure you subscribe. I would love to have you here. If you've got anything interesting to say, chuck it in a comment down below and I'll talk to you soon. Have a great week. There's a tiny, tiny fly in here. It's driving me nuts. He gets in the shot. Say hi to the camera.